Hello everyone, my name is Meika Hoosh and uh, I am a doctor in textile material technology in University of Boros. Today I will briefly introduce you to plasma treatment in textile industry. As well, we will talk about uh, its principle and their main application in textile in research and uh, markets nowadays. So plasma is the fourth state of matter and uh, we create it by subjecting a gas into, uh, into energy leading to ionizing that gas. Usually plasma consists of electrons, UV radiations and free radicals that can activate any surface that we subject it into like textiles for example. So it's very important to remember that we are maintaining the properties of the bulk material while changing the properties of the surface by the plasma treatment. The plasma systems nowadays, uh, they differ according to the method that we create this ionized gas and uh, they include uh, something like torch plasma, vacuum plasma, atmospheric pressure plasma and cold plasma. And we can also uh, have uh, control uh, good control over the parameters of the process in plasma treatment by changing the frequency and the gap between the electrodes and the gas used, we can acquire different properties. Mimicking the nature, we now can uh, create artificial plasma in labs with uh, controlled, uh, controlled uh, mechanisms and levels. And uh, also we can uh, change uh, the configuration according to the material and the end application. So when interacting with textile materials and surfaces, plasma has shown to be effective in many uh, uh, in many ways and uh, cleaning is one of them uh, it's used to, to clean the surface of the uh, of the uh, of the textiles also it is used heavily for activation to introduce new functional groups on the surface of the textiles in case we want to change the wettability and the surface energy of the uh, textile also, we can have uh, grafting polymers by introducing monomers and certain particles into the gas, a mixture in the plasma treatment for textile. And uh, finally, uh, the thin coatings, uh, nanoscale coatings, we, it is possible uh, via plasma on textile materials. And in this method, we can have a permanent alternation of the properties of the surface of the material. Of course, uh, each gas has uh, their own function and introduce a new function to the uh, treated textiles. For example, oxygen can have a surface etching effect and also the nitrogen and ammonia can uh, improve the compatibility with dyes and so on. So we choose the gas carefully according to the required uh, functionalities at the end. There are many advantages of plasma treatment when compared to other conventional chemical methods because it is a dry, it's a dry method, we save water, we save usually energy, its, uh, it's consumption of added materials is very minimal and there is no waste from the plasma after treatment. And we can have, uh, we can have the conclusion that it is a sustainable and source efficient method of treating the uh, textiles. Uh, but of course, like any other uh, method, uh, there are some disadvantages of also plasma and uh, scaling up in industry, it's still a challenging aspect. Regarding the applications in both research and markets nowadays, we can agree that surface wetting changes and the adjusting of uh, surface energy and wettability of the textile materials is one of the most uh, common and important um, applications of plasma for textiles. We can uh, either in, uh, we can increase or decrease the wettability to make the surface more hydrophobic or more hydrophilic according to our requirements. Another application is especially uh, important in the case of composite materials is to increase the adhesion uh, between the textile and the coatings. Also via, via plasma we can uh, via plasma, we can also have uh, some changes in the physical properties, electrical properties, and also we can introduce new functionalities like flame retardancy to the textiles. 
Uh, regarding plasma, it is very ver versatile and usually uh, any fiber is possible to treat with plasma, especially for cotton, for polyamide, even, even though the synthetic fibers can be, and polymers, they can be treated with plasma because uh, many parts uh, or many types of plasma are cold or room temperature, so they won't affect the uh, end properties of the polymer regarding temperature. Also, wool has been successfully treated with plasma, and even carbon fiber, it has been used to increase the wettability of the carbon fiber fibers to increase the adhesion with the composite materials or with resin to introduce uh, composite materials to the market. Also, uh, very successful treatments for other synthetic fibers have been introduced via plasma treatment. So we can conclude that plasma has a lot of uh, like uh, potential in textile industry, especially it is dry treatment and uh, it has a less amount of materials which makes it uh, resource efficient and it can contribute huge amount to the sustainability of textile materials. I want to thank you for listening.